Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the beta channel, which is the build 22635.3500, the latest build for the beta channel in Windows 11 23H2. Of course, in this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the beta channel. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the Video. First of all, related to the start menu, if we open up the start menu inside this build for the beta channel and then we click on our username, we're gonna notice this new account manager that is present in the start menu. And here we're gonna see info such as your username, your Microsoft account. For this to show up, of course, you need to be logged in into a Microsoft account and you have Windows 365 subscription management and cloud storage. And also, if you click on these three dots, we're gonna notice that the sign out option is now here in this new account manager and the lock option is now inside power options as found by Phantom Machine 3. Also inside the start menu, if you go to the All Apps section, we've talked about in a previous build that Microsoft is redesigning the All Apps section. Well, now they also added letters to the alphabetically categorized apps. I think this is pretty good. You can easily find apps based on their starting letter and because they are very well organized alphabetically, you can just click on a letter and then select the letter you want and you'll be jumped right there. I think this is pretty good. Also related to Windows Share, if your Microsoft account uses a Gmail address, you can now send email to yourself from the Windows Share window and receive it into your Gmail account. Also to ensure that we don't lose access to our Microsoft account, Microsoft is introducing a new banner with a add now button on their settings and accounts for adding a recovery email address if you haven't added one for your Microsoft account. Then Microsoft is also introducing a new Game Pass recommendation card on the settings homepage. I'm not sure how this will be received by users, but this settings homepage will be seen only on the home and pro editions of Windows 11. And of course you have to be signed into a Microsoft account. Related to the widgets board, Microsoft is introducing a new navigation bar on the left, allowing you to switch between a dedicated widgets at dashboard and other integrated dashboards like Discover. And they are also introducing the ability for developers to send notifications to the taskbar button with their custom dashboards for the widgets board. You can check a documentation for that in the article below in the video's description. But Microsoft is also doing some improvements related to the icons that appear on the taskbar in the widgets section, and they've also added clearer and larger icons in the taskbar. And finally, a hidden feature found by Phantom Motion 3. Basically, whenever you have enabled automatically hide the taskbar and then try to access the search box, normally it will only show up the simpler version of the search box. But right now, Microsoft will soon add this new feature that will basically allow you to see the whole search box depending on the settings you have set on your taskbar settings. And related to this build, this is pretty much all there is to it. If you want to check out more information and also the known issues in this build, you can check out the article below in the video's description and also the official Microsoft blog post. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I'm Zumani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.